Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. On today's video tutorial, guys, we are going through question 3.2. And in question 3.2, guys, we are going to be interpreting information that is given to us, right? We are going to be using a bar graph to answer questions that are given to us and we're also going to be basically calculating um the range right so before you get started with today's video tutorial please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel please make sure that you click on that notification bell so that you get notified every single time i upload a video tutorial and also don't forget to share this video tutorial with your friends okay um without any further ado guys let's get started with today's video tutorial Okay, so like I mentioned, we are going to be going through our uh, question 3.2, right? And it says that an average, oh, in an average middle class uh, household in South Africa, a 10 minute shower costs almost 13 rand or one rand and 30 cents per minute. If you have a normal uh, 15 liter uh, per minute shower head. By changing to a low flow shower head and reducing shower time to six minutes, you can reduce this to four and, and 20 cents per shower or 70 cents uh, per minute, right? The graph on Annex to B shows more detailed information on water and energy use per shower for a normal shower head and a low flow shower head okay they give us a glossary meaning that um they're defining a certain uh, terminology that is given in this paragraph we are told that a low flow shower head reduces the rate of water flow so that is basically the whole point of a low flow shower head right and we are given a sketch of a low flow shower head here and then we're given a picture of a normal shower head, right? It says that we need to use an extra B and the above information to answer the questions that follow. So let's just have a look at an extra B, right? This is an extra B, right? And this is basically um, a bar graph, right? That basically represents water and energy use per shower head for normal and low flow shower heads, right? So let's just have a look what we are given here on the Y axis, we're given the liters used uh, during a shower. So zero, uh, zero liters, 20 liters, 40 liters, 60 liters, 80 liters, and so on and so forth, right? And on the X axis, right, we are given the time in minutes. Yeah, the uh, plain white is the low flow shower head. Um, which is eight liters per minute for the dark gray or the gray it's the normal shower head which is 15 liters per minute okay and then um the okay so this is like the gray then it's the dark green then it's the white which is the kilowatts um energy used with low flow shower head which is eight liters per minute and then you've got that key there with the dot dots that it represents the kilowatts energy used with normal shower head uh which is 15 liters per minute right so that's basically our bar graph and what our bar graph basically tells us. Let's get started with basically the questions, right? Question 3.2.1 says that a four minute shower uses 1.7 kilowatt hours of energy, right? A 10 minute shower uses 4.3 kilowatt hours of energy. Calculate the percentage increase in kilowatt hours of energy used when taking a four minute shower compared to taking a 10 minute shower. You may use the following formula, okay? So this question is very nice. We are given the formula that we're supposed to basically use, okay? To get the percentage increase in kilowatts, or, uh, kilowatt hours of energy used, right? So we don't even have to stress ourselves because we basically are given that formula. So that formula says that the percentage increase is equal to the kilowatt hours used for 10 minutes minus the kilowatt hours used for four minutes, okay? Divided by the kilowatts used for four minutes times it by a hundred. So, okay. So what was the information that is given to us, right? We are told that the kilowatt hours used for a four minute shower, for a four minute shower, the kilowatts are used as 1.7 kilowatts of energy, right? And then we are also told for a 10 minute shower, right? It uses 4.3 kilowatt um, hours of energy. So all we need to do at this point, guys, we are just substituting, right? We are just substituting. So to get the percentage increase, it's going to be equal to kilowatts used for a 10-minute um, shower 
is that 4.3 kilowatts so it's going to be 4.k minus the kilowatts um hours used for a four minute shower we said that for a four minute shower the kilowatts used is 1.7 kilowatts hours divided by the kilowatts used for the four minute shower which is the 1.77 kilowatt hours and you're gonna multiply that by 100 because we want the percentage right so if you punch that into your calculator you will get 152 0.94 percent so that is the percentage increase in kilowatt um, hours of energy used when taking a four minute shower uh compared to taking a 10 minute shower right so let's go on to the next question question 3.2.2 uh, says says give one possible reason why you would advise someone to use a low flow shower head rather than a normal shower head right so to answer this question guys we can go to a next year b right and you can basically choose maybe um let's just choose the time the four minutes um time to help us basically interpret what is going on between the low flow shower head and the normal shower head what do we see here we see that if you basically use the normal uh shower head if you spend four minutes in the shower you actually spend um or you use 60 liters of water if you spend four minutes in the shower but with the low flow shower head if you spend four minutes in the shower you actually spend or use 30 liters of water so what do we see with the low flow shower head you actually use less water as compared with the normal um normal shower head so that's the first reason that you can basically give a person that with the low flow shower head you actually save water what could be another possible reason why you would advise someone to use a low flow shower head we can go again to our next year b what do we see okay we can see that okay we're going to look at our 10 minutes right with the low flow uh shower head what do we see here we see that you actually use less energy as compared to the no uh the normal uh shower head right so that's the normal shower head here right and you can see that that is actually slightly higher than the low flow shower head so even with the energy used when you're using a low uh a low flow shower head you use less energy right okay so that could also be the second uh reason that you could tell a person that you also save um energy okay okay because this bar graph over here says that this bar graph represents the water and the energy used uh, per shower for the normal and the low flow shower head, right? So this bar graph basically tells us how much water and how much energy is used um, for the normal shower head and the low flow shower head. So here we could see with the red lines that, okay, the low flow shower head uses less liters, right? And then we can also see that, okay, the low flow shower head also uses less energy as compared to the normal uh, flower head, right? So that is what you uh, would tell a person that it saves water and it also uses, uh, and it also saves um, energy, right? right. Next, Next question, question 3.2.3. Uh, Calculate the range of the number of liters of water used during a two minute shower and an eight minute shower using a normal shower head right so we're going to use our next year b again to help us calculate the range that is used for what a normal shower head right during a what a two minute shower and a eight minute shower right first thing before we even start calculating or going to our next year b how do we calculate range guys range is equal to your maximum value minus your minimum value okay so now we can go back to our next year b and see okay how many liters do we use for a two minute shower how many liters do we use for an eight minute shower when you're using a, a normal shower head so let's do that okay so we're going to be focusing on the eight and we're going to be focusing on the two and we are going to be focusing our attention on the key that basically shows us that the the dark gray right key color right so we're going to be focusing on that there right and then we're also going to be focusing on um that bar there right so we're going to be focusing on that bar there and we're going to be focusing on that bar there so what do we notice if you take a two minute shower with the normal shower head how many liters of water do you use 
we see that that is actually 30 liters if you basically approximate like 30 liters because it's in between 20 and 40 right and then what do we also see for an eight minute shower how many liters of water do you use 120 liters of water right so how do we calculate our range what is our maximum value it's 120 what is our minimum value it's 30 so to get the range it's going to be the 120 minus 30 liters 120 liters minus 30 liters and we find that the range of the number of liters of water used during a two minute shower and an eight minute shower using a normal shower head is equal to 90 liters and that is it guys so with this question what was important is that you guys basically have to make use of this in extra b to help you answer the questions you need to basically look what is this um bar graph telling us in terms of the liters used by the normal um, shower head and the low flow shower head in terms of the energy that is used by the normal shower head and the low flow shower head right so basically this is a nice question um nothing hectic here i feel like the only thing that was going to be hard is if you don't know how to calculate range but if you can remember the range is the maximum minus the minimum substitute those values you read your bar graph um correctly then you should be fine and that is it guys and in the next video tutorial we are going to be going through uh question 4.1 so please make sure that you have clicked on your notification bells see you guys on my next upload that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy guys.